hey there my name is vedans kanpal and i'll be uh, walking through v2 uh, api of go high level so let's get started uh, so here is the official documentation of uh, go high level v2 api first thing first we need to register our app uh, for that we need to go to marketplace uh, here we need to click on my app then click on create app name will be anything let's say test app now app type will be public or private private mean your app is not visible on marketplace and for public it will be in my case i am choosing private now distribution type uh, go high level have few public api which are uh, only available for agency and some only for sub account so we need to select uh, i am selecting both now if your agency is white label then click on white label otherwise standard now click on create app so now uh, first thing we need to select a scoop let's say i need uh, context dot read only and context dot write uh then uh, now we need to specify redirect url redirect url is where go high level share the code and authentication key in my case i am using my local host url here is my url i am pasting it here now click on add then uh, we need to generate client key let's say key 1 click on add now we need to copy both uh, i am copying this uh, now here is my uh, demo app and i will create it the config.json file here uh, so i'll paste the client key and client secret here uh click on okay uh now add a webhook url in my case i am using this webhook url then generate a sso sso key let's again copy it and paste here uh then click on save now we need to use our scoops when we make a request uh so in my demo project here you can see some files and in get app data dot php uh, here are few things first redirect uh, request type second is redirect url here the uh, url which we add while created app uh, third client id client id is coming from config dot json file and here is our scopes now this code making a url for me uh, now what is url so when you visit the uh, documentation then the third step is uh, authorization page url so this is the same url uh, which we are using here so here are few things first uh, response type which uh, need a code then redirect url uh, which is same then client id and our scopes so uh, we make a url using this code now when we hit the get app data uh, dot php location uh, one sec 
it's localhost v2 sorry get app data dot php then it will redirect us to the choose location page which is this location here uh, now we are able to choose our agency or our sub account from here uh, now when we select any location from the uh, from the list let's say marketplace then this click redirect us to the redirect url which we uh, use while creating the app uh, to this uh, this url uh, and it will provide us a authentication code which help us to generate our access token uh, now how we can get our access token so we just need to click uh, the oauth 2.0 uh, then get access token so this is the uh, endpoint to get our access token uh, so here are some things we need to generate our access token and other things first is client id uh, which uh, we stored on uh, which store our uh, config.json uh, file then client secret which also on uh, config.json page grant type is uh, in our case is authentication code then code we just got from here uh, now to get a access token we need to hit uh, this url uh, so i am using a postman here uh, now I am creating a new HTTP request now copy this code and paste it here simple now we need to pass these things first client ID so from our config.json file here then client secret here uh, then grant type is authentication code then our access token oh sorry access code which is this Just copy and paste last thing we need only user type which is location uh, for now i am deleting the refresh token and redirect uri now when we click on send it will generate our access token uh, refresh token its expiry time and some other data uh, so to automate this process i have already write code here uh, in get access token dot php page here here is the function called get token uh, here we need to pass the same data uh, which we are passing on uh, postman now we need to call this function wait a sec now uh, now when we hit the location here uh, here it will generate uh, the same code for me so now that I have stored all the data uh, in uh, config.json file so uh, now I am ready to hit our API endpoint for that we need to access the documentation 
here here are the list of all the endpoint uh, in my case it's contact uh, so I'm going to get all the contact uh, it's get contact by ID but I need to get all the contacts so I'm going to hit this endpoint uh, for that just copy uh, uh, copy the URL then uh, in our postman I'm going to make a new HTTP request just paste the uh, uh, detail here now uh, I need to pass something uh, that is location ID and our uh, authentication uh, token uh, for that I am going to our uh, config.json file from here uh, the location ID is this I am pasting here and our access token is here just copy and paste it here after the barrier okay now click on send uh, so here you can see we have our all the contacts details <coughs> now the last thing is this uh, what can we do when our token is expired uh, as I say uh, after every 24 hour our access token is expired uh, when the token is expired then if you send the request then it will shows uh, invalid token access token is invalid uh, uh, in this case uh, we need to regenerate our access token using of refresh token so now uh, we need to go to our documentation uh, here uh, get access token uh, now if you remember uh, when we need to get access token uh, we are using authentication code uh, but in case of uh, refresh token we need to choose refresh token here uh, now the same uh, copy uh, I am making new HTTP request here just paste it here now here uh, we need to pass few things just a second here uh, we need to pass client id client secret grant type code uh, as you can see here uh, now we need to pass our refresh token here and the same uh, user type and redirect uri uh, so here I don't need any kind of uh, redirect URI so I'm deleting it and other thing uh, if you remember we store all the thing in config.json file so here is our client ID uh, so just copy it and paste it here client id uh, now client secret same paste it here uh, grant type is refresh token code is here uh, then we need to pass refresh token uh, here is our refresh token copy and paste and user type is location oh, sorry. Uh, now when I send the request it will regenerate the access token for me here uh, uh, so here is our new access token 
and here is our new refresh token so uh, we need to store both uh, both access token and refresh token again now i'm updating it here is our access to uh, refresh token so just copy and paste it here uh, so uh, every time uh, when our uh, access token is expired we need to our uh, we need our uh, refresh token to regenerate it that's all about uh, ghl's v2 api thanks